welcome back to another video. So this is the UNSC Scorpion from Halo 5. Uh, this one's a slightly updated build. Uh, we did this in the Halo 5 world with the texture pack and now I brought this over to the default textures. Uh, so there are some body differences and turret differences as well. I think the treads are mainly the same, uh, but yeah, the body and turret are updated. So uh, yeah, uh, the main things to note really, you can see kind of uh, these bits are changed out. There used to be a specialized block. Uh, I think it was like nether, uh, nether quartz ore or something like that. Uh, and I retextured that to have a spiral pattern on it or not spiral, but a circle pattern, sorry. Uh, yeah, and so we just kind of approximated that with the uh, with the uh, carved stone bricks there. Uh, so yeah, this one isn't too difficult uh, when we do it in the layering system. It's not too tall. I think it's only about like seven, eight blocks tall. So uh, yeah, and then we can do like the last two in one layer, I assume. So should be fine. Uh, there will be an outro at the end of this video, and I'm going to have an outro every time now. So I finally got one of those. Uh, very pleased about that. Uh, I actually made it myself as well. Uh, it's not the best yet, but I assume I will improve it over time. Um, so yeah. Anyway guys, a quick showcase around the vehicle. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get on to layer one. Okay, so the main materials you're going to need for this build should be listed on screen now. Uh, there will be some other ones that we will need, uh, but those are the main ones. So yeah, just keep those in your inventory and swap them out when we don't need them for, for other little materials like the fence gates. So yeah, uh, we're going to first of all get ourselves a working area. So I'm going to go over here, uh, although I don't want to go past the halo sign, uh, not for any specific reason. I'm going to go over here at the front, so in front of the other one. Uh, we're going to start off just here. I guess I'll line it up. I uh, might as well do that. So do five uh, upside down stairs like this, so that's three, four, five. And then do a set of three, oh sorry, five stone bricks like that. And then five green stained clay behind it, like that. Okay. Now you want to take a upside down stone brick stairs now, and you're going to do one, two, uh, and just leave it at two for now, because uh, we're going to do the front treads first and then measure back from those treads. Uh, so we're going to actually start just about, uh, okay. Let's start with the, yeah, okay, All right. <laughs> start with uh, stone bricks, and you're gonna do one, two, three, just for now, just do three, and then an upside down stair on the front, and then do three of those, so you should get this. Okay, do a chisel stone brick. Damn it, I should have said carved, because I messed that word up again. But yeah, carved stone brick, leave a gap of one, and do two of them, leave a gap of one, and do another one. And now, uh, where those three upside down uh, stairs are at the front, you want to do three of those facing away from those. Uh, so you should get this. Okay. And now just fill the rest of that back row with uh, stone bricks. And then the front of the row is going to be filled in with uh, stone brick slabs. And then for this uh, gap in the middle between the, uh, between the uh, carved, you can do a stone bricks or a cobblestone wall. Uh, I'm going to do cobblestone wall this time. It adds a little bit more detail. Uh, it does mean that there is a tiny little uh, gap between that and the ground, but it's fine. But yeah, uh, that adds a bit more detail. Actually, I don't think uh, I used cobblestone walls when I made this one, so yeah. Uh, that's quite uh, understandable. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so coming back to here, so you've got these uh, upside down stairs here facing uh, backwards. So now you want to do a gap of one, uh, and then do them facing front ways, like towards the front, but you can't actually do that without placing another block. So you're going to do three uh, blocks there, and then three upside down stairs, like that. So you should get this now. Okay? And then you're just going to uh, repeat what we did here, actually, but it is going to be changed a bit, because there is going to be a gap in between those two. Uh, so the back treads are actually longer than the front ones. So you're going to start off here in the middle. Do a chiseled and then just a gap of one each time. So don't do the uh, two in the middle, do the uh, back ones with a gap in the middle like that. Okay, and then taking your cobblestone wall, just do the uh, three there in the middle, and then do a row of stone brick slabs, and then do a row of stone bricks to the back, and then you can just do your three upside down stairs to finish that off. Okay, so you should have that now. 
Uh, once you've got that, you're then gonna you can do this row of uh, upside down stairs here on the body now. So you want to bring that across. Just do this all the way across. Uh, oh, one thing to note: this build is incredibly asymmetrical, so I won't be like leaving you to do one half of it on your own. Uh, yeah, and then you just want to take it to there, and then do five uh, green stained clay like that, and then just do five stone brick slabs on the back. Okay, now you want to copy that over. Um, and then we have a bit to do in the body that's asymmetrical. So yeah, this bit is uh, completely symmetrical for now. So what we've done so far is symmetrical. Uh, but it does get asymmetrical in a min. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that goes there, 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 and there. There, 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 and there. It's pretty easy once you get the... Uh, design in your head, you know, and then just a row across like that, and a row across like that, uh, and that's fantastic. Oops, I did that wrong, uh, there goes there. <laughs> Same thing again on the back, just like that. Uh, oh, I forgot the uh, inside ones, there we go, that's it, that's better. And yeah, so the last thing you need to do for the first layer is actually the uh, the start of the turret and the uh, driver's compartment. So you're going to start off at this uh, stair here and do one, two stone brick slabs, or sorry, just stone bricks. So yeah, two stone bricks, two stone bricks again, and then one there, and then two there, and then actually a slab in that one there. So that should be in line with that uh, back uh, carved stone brick there. The next thing you want to do is a uh, stain bricks there, 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 and there, and then a green in the middle like that. So you should get this now, and that's it for layer one. So moving on to layer two. Okay, so for layer two, starting off at the front, we're going to go to the body. We're going to do a stain slab there, there, and there, and then a stain brick stairs in the middle like that. And then do five uh, green, five green again. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, to the things that are asymmetrical on the body here, and we're going to do uh, another four of these stone bricks, and then a chiselled stone brick in the middle. Uh, I should be saying carved, I always mess up chisel. Uh, and then just do a row of, uh, or a kind of circle, square, rectangle of um, stone brick like that. Okay, and that's it for the, uh, for the body really. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is come to uh, this bit here, do a set of four stone bricks like that. And that's just going to kind of, uh, if you see the uh, these four here kind of move on to the outside of the body, uh, that's just mirroring that over. So yeah. Uh, so I guess really this section of five here is the only asymmetrical bit. Uh, so yeah. And then just do a green and then a stone brick stairs like that, same thing. A Again, like that and then just turn one outwards kind of like that in the front same thing again so you should get that okay uh, so the body should be seven wide at this point uh, so yeah then coming to these uh, these treads you're gonna do one two three and then two 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 basically two all the way to the front and then just do three uh, stairs like that then do upside down stairs, one, two, three, four, five, and then a uh, carved stone brick like that. Same thing again uh, on the other side, so this is just a mirror image of that. Uh, like this. Uh, I like to give a shower at the end, I'll do it at the end though, because uh, my voice kind of hurts in a minute. Yeah, I'm pretty sick again, I get sick a lot as you can tell. Um, yeah, so coming back to here, you're going to do four, and then three, three, uh, and then four. Then four in a row, four in a row, then three, and then three again. And then this time, you're just going to do three, but offset by one, so it looks like, you know, like that, basically. And then in those gaps, you're going to do upside down stairs like this. Okay, once you've done that, coming back to this bit here, uh, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five and then take a stone brick on the outside ones, stone brick stairs on the inside ones, and then you're gonna take a temporary block there and there, do a fence gate, and just turn that inwards like that, okay? Now to mirror that over, same thing again, do three just on the end of that tread there, and you're gonna do uh, three here, three here, and then four, 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 
and then three, uh, then three, and then four again. And upside down stairs in the gaps, just like that. And that's it for layer two, so moving on to layer three. Okay, so for layer three, you're also going to need uh, these quartz blocks now. So you just take one of those. Uh, I think I already listed that at the beginning with the uh, with the uh, material list, but yeah, quartz. So we're actually finishing off the uh, the treads now, and we're also pretty much finishing off the body. Uh, so we're going to start off just at the uh, the front. So in front of these stairs here, you're going to do uh, three stone brick slabs like that, then one on either side. And then do three uh, green in the middle and then five behind it so that should be a floating uh, layer there like that do one there and one there uh, this one should cover up the gap as well so yeah uh, and then do a so you see where this uh, thing is that we built before you're gonna do just build over that with the uh, things in fact I don't really like I don't know why that one's a chiseled actually that should just be a stone brick uh, I guess so, yeah, <laughs> um, that's weird. Uh, that might have been from the uh, from the old build, actually. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Forget about that. Uh, you just want to fill this in here, so you get get this basically for now. Uh, and once you got that, then we're gonna just do uh, two more green here, and then basically just wrap this around like that. Um, but we'll leave two here basically uh, for now. And you're just going to do a stone brick stage, you're going to do one, two, and then turn that one forward. Same thing on this side, one, two, turn that one forward. If you need a minute to look at that, that's cool. That is a bit complicated, but yeah. Anyway, once you've done that, uh, moving on, you're going to do uh, two green here. And then basically just fill this in now, so you want to bring that to there. And then this goes across, like that. This keeps going. Uh, all the way to the back, really. So yeah, just keep going. And it goes to, let me check that real quick uh, before I carry on. Uh, it goes to there, so that just stops, okay. So go to there. Uh, so that should just cover up that last like empty space. So when you see these uh, three stone brick stairs on the back, you're gonna do one and then two and then put a slab next to it like that, okay? And then next to that, you're then going to do uh, two more there, two more there. Uh, and then once you got this, uh, we now have the body pretty much done for that layer. So moving on to the treads, you're going to do uh, one, two, three stone bricks, uh, sorry, two stone slabs. Three stone slabs on the back. Okay, and then one there as well. Do a uh, stair face in that way, so it should be outwards like that. And then a green and then a quartz, then a green, then a quartz, uh, and then a stone slab, and then do a uh, stone brick stairs facing that way, so that should curve up into the tread, but then also do one facing towards the front, like that. Uh, so yeah, and then moving on from that, do three green behind that stair, and then finally, just for the edge, uh, you're gonna do one, two stone brick stairs, and then two stone slabs like that. Now repeating that over, uh, in the game it is, I think the, uh, the quartz is only on one side, uh, so on the other one we're only going to do it on one side. Uh, thing is, normally when I build a model I copy it over onto the other half, just to save t building time, so I have accidentally copied the quartz over onto the other side. Uh, but yeah, it should only be on one side. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, do the same thing, uh, like this, so three and then one there. Uh, and then a stair facing towards the outside, like that. Uh, and then a green, and then instead of quartz, just do one, two, three, uh, more green, then a stone slab, then a stair facing that way, and one that way, and then three in the middle, two there, and then two slabs. And that's it for the front, uh, for the front uh, treads. Do a, uh, for the back ones, do a slab there, and then two there. Do this one facing towards the front, and then two facing towards the back. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, wrap that around. And then just do a row of green across here. 
and then green there and green there and then the rest is going to be a uh, quartz like this obviously on the other side uh we're going to do it just all green so yeah start off with the one slab there two there that one faces all the front two towards the back uh and then stairs one two three four five six seven curve around and then just fill that in with green like that and that's it for layer three, so moving on to layer four. Okay, so starting off layer four, one little thing I forgot to do was a stone brick there and there. Uh, and then we're moving on to the next layer, so do a slab here, stone brick there and there, like that. And then just do uh, green, you're gonna do one, and then bring it back again, one there, and then one, two, three, and four, just like that. Uh, in this gap, you're gonna do uh, two stone slabs, and then one, oops, one, two, three, and then curve it for uh, stone brick stairs like that. And then do two green next to that. So you should have this so far. Uh, now coming over to here, do a stair there and then turn that one that way. And you should kind of get a mirror uh, like that now. And then just do two green behind it like that and that should mirror over fine. Then come in by one, so one, uh, two, three, four, like that. And then in by one, uh, and also uh, out by one here like that and then one two back out and back down so you should get this uh, if you need a minute to look at that so it's just four across there and then three across there and then join it up and then you can just uh, fill that one there like that and also uh, fill that in here so like this okay uh, so yeah let me just make sure that's in line so that should be yeah uh, oh that reminds me actually one thing I did forget was a slab there and a slab there uh, so that should be on the back block yeah okay uh, from there take your uh, stone brick stairs do one there and then uh, corner one there corner and then three stone slabs uh, and one there uh, same thing again here but this time you're actually gonna do uh, three and then a uh, stone brick and then a stone brick slab and that covers up the driver compartment it's set way down in here actually so you have actually room to stand up uh, if you wanted to although you could just add a chair there and then uh, that makes it a bit more realistic but yeah in fact put a uh, fence gate there and that's going to be your control handles that's just an added little detail i wasn't going to do a cockpit but there you go you got one there so yeah <laughs> uh, once you've done that just do a slab here and then a slab there as well so you should have this for now. Um, it is very complicated because it is asymmetrical uh, and I don't really do those very often. In fact, never really. So yeah. Uh, from there, just do a uh, stem rich stair here and one facing towards the front. So you should get that. And now another one facing towards the front here and then a side one and then a corner one like that. And then uh, same thing here, side one, corner one. So you should get this now. That's actually the seat for the turret, so yeah. Uh, just put a, uh, you need a sign stain clay now. Uh, I didn't get that out, but here we go. Put that there. Uh, and yeah, that's about everything. The last thing we need to do is just a circle of uh, stone uh, bricks and then a carved one in the middle like that. And okay, that's good. That's it for layer four, so on to layer five. Okay, so starting off layer five, uh, we're just gonna start here, do three stain slabs, and then come out by one and do one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. Uh, this bit is pretty much symmetrical, actually. There's just one slab that's slightly different. Uh, so yeah, do one slab there and then uh, three here. So you should get this kind of uh, notch of two uh, taken out. And then just do two there and then a stone brick slab. And then this is gonna be a load of stone bricks here. Uh, the reason the um, the carved stone brick is there, uh, it is just kind of like a, a detail that I thought would kind of make it like the, because uh, this is part of the turret now, so this is kind of where the turret turntable is, and that's usually what I use to represent where the turntable starts. So yeah, uh, the chiseled stone brick is there for that reason, it's kind of just a uh, peace of mind to know that this is in the right place, so yeah. Uh, and that's... It. So the last thing we need to do is the turret. So this turret design is actually a little bit different from most of my UNSC ones. Uh, this is actually more like the common uh, one. Because turrets are obviously pretty hard to do in this game. 
uh, due to lack of kind of small uh, details. Uh, so yeah, normally I would do a fence gate on the front, like, uh, like, I can't do it now, but, uh, okay, hang on, give me a second, there we go, like that, kind of, um, and then maybe a, uh, end rod on the front, uh, but because this turret is quite short, uh, the Halo 5 one's actually quite a bit shorter than the rest of them, uh, it's just an end rod, and it looks more like the, uh, the common ones, so yeah, uh, I mean, that's just a little thing to point out. But yeah, that's actually for layer um, 5, was it? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. So yeah, on to layer 6, which is going to be the, uh, the turret. Okay, so moving on to the turret, uh, we're going to start off just here, do a set of uh, 3, green, 3, green. Uh, we're going to do the uh, the left side first, uh, since it is asymmetrical again. We're going to do 3 upside down stairs like that, and then a chiseled stone brick, then a green, then a another one of those. Then taking your green, you're just going to bring that to there, uh, to that last one, and then come to the middle and then join out like that. Okay, taking your stone bricks, just bring that to the front as well, uh, just like that. Then do uh, three upside down stone bricks on the back, uh, and then a uh, top half stone brick slab this time, uh, and then four more of those um, upside down stairs like that. And that should take you to one past the uh, the chisel there. Okay, and then do a green, then a uh, stone brick stairs to the to the side basically, and then uh, one to the uh, side again, and then here one to the front, and then on the other side one to the front as well. So you should get that. Then a stone bricks, and then another one to the front. Okay, before we move on, I want to do uh, the uh, kind of covers on the side. These are a little bit of extra detail. Going to do uh, five temporary blocks and then five dark fence gates like that, and then turn the uh, outside ones inwards so they should join up like that. Okay, and that's it for that bit. And the last thing to do is I'm going to have to measure this turret actually because I'm not sure how many blocks it is. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So you're going to do uh, seven top half slabs. So that's uh, what do they do? One, four, five, six, seven, like that. Okay, and that should take you to the uh, to the front tread. Uh, let me check that's right. Yeah, okay. And that's it for that layer. So moving on to layer uh, four, five, six, seven, I think it is. Seven, okay. <laughs> okay, so for the uh, eighth and ninth layer, I think it is uh, what we're on now. I'm gonna start off, we're actually gonna do the, uh, the rest of the build just now, so that's fine. Start off with a uh, stone brick slab at the front. And then you're going to do six stone slabs, so three, four, five, six. Then a stair, just like that. Uh, and then a stair on either side, just like that. Uh, and then you're going to do a slab in the middle and then a stair there. So it's a weird shape, but yeah, uh, get that right. You're going to do a uh, four green behind it, so four like that. Uh, and then go in by one and then back by three, like this. Okay, the turret's a weird shape. I don't really like the Halo 5 one very much at all. Uh, you're going to do three stairs there like that. Then do a uh, stone brick there and there. And then stone slab there. And then two stone brick stairs there like that. Okay. Uh, do another stone uh, brick stair here. And then one here also. Uh, in fact, I don't even know how that goes, uh, to be honest. Uh, I haven't checked this out. Okay, so it's a slab actually let me look at this real quick uh yeah i'm so bad at tutorials <laughs> uh okay i think i i think i remember it now uh so it's a slab there then a green and then a stair and then turn that one there and then two stone slabs just like that and then do uh three i think it's three more yeah okay yeah the turret's very uneven it's kind of annoying uh Okay, and the last stair is uncovered, right? Yeah, okay. So yeah, so we got to here and then just do two more green and then a stair like that. Okay, and then the last thing we have to do is the uh, one, two, three, four slabs and then two slabs here, two slabs here. And then just put two more stone bricks in there to fill that out. And that's it for the Halo 5 uh, Scorpion. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're actually very close to the end of the, uh, this building season for Halo. Um, 
so the building seasons have actually, I want to explain this quickly, they've actually existed um, way before now. It's not something I recently set up, but it is only something that I've recently kind of monitored and kind of taken into effect with, you know, actually knowing that I was doing it. Uh, previously, I kind of just uh, done things and then left a gap in between uh, that and the next build, and that's usually because I took time to kind of refine the builds, and so it took more time to upload stuff. Uh, notable places where this happened was like um, after the mammoth. I don't think I uploaded for a while, uh, and that was because I was actually working on this new stuff here. Uh, so that was kind of the end of the building season, uh, and this was what like end of 2014 or something. Um, so yeah, and another place this happened was I'd say about uh, hmm, I guess I mean after. I can't believe the mammoth is so close to the rest of this stuff, actually, because a lot of this stuff is recent. In fact, that's the most recent uh, iteration of the Banished Wraith. Um, yeah, and that's the most recent Wraith, actually. I didn't know that was so close to the mammoth, because uh, I classed the mammoth as one of my worst builds, um, I think. Uh, I didn't make the top five list, though. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I guess another building season, kind of, was after... Uh, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, there has there have been building seasons, uh, but they've never like really been properly enforced. Uh, oh yeah, and you see that? That's getting redone. That is absolutely getting redone. Uh, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I was going to do a, a trailer for the uh, the new building season, all the vehicles that are going to be in it. Uh, I haven't actually done most of them yet, but I'm going to show a few of them off to you now. Uh, you can actually kind of see one uh, just approaching here. Uh, or two, but one of them is going to be tutorial only. Uh, take a guess which it is. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that one. Uh, that's just, yeah, I'll go over this now. So that's the uh, the Halo 3 Pelican from the uh, from the texture pack uh, pit map. And I've just brought it over to the uh, standard textures. Another new build uh, you may see here next to the Mantis is the Cyclops from Halo Wars 2. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but here we go. And I think that's actually pretty cool. I like doing the mechs. Uh, yeah. Uh, another new one, we've actually got a few new ones here actually. We've got the new Marauder, which is a lot smaller. Uh, fits more with the kind of Chopper and Prowler scale. We've also got the new Banished Locust as well. Uh, very nice, I like this one. I like this one a lot. We've got the, uh, the new Banished Reaver. Uh, so yeah, this is finally a good uh, iteration of this one. Uh, I like this one a lot, and it actually fits in the scale with like the uh, the mantis and stuff. So yeah, that's good. Uh, no longer like a giant like, anti-air platform like it was before. Uh, we were we already got the mantis and the uh, not the mantis UNSC, the mantis covenant. We got the mantis and the uh, tyrant for that role, so we don't need this for it. And uh, the banished wraith is actually going to be kept pretty much exactly the same. Uh, that's not going to be updated or redone. Uh, I like this one as it is. Um, and then, yeah, the Banished uh, Banshee as well, wherever that's gone. Uh, there it is. Uh, exactly the same as well. So, yeah. Uh, the Banished Chopper, the new one. There we go. And then uh, I'm working on finalizing this blister back here. Uh, this one's for reference. This is the old one uh, that I don't like anymore. So, yeah. This one's smaller and uh, works a bit better. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I am permanently using the uh, nether brick as the secondary colours for the banish now, just so you know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Sorry I took like so long in this outro. Uh, I always do it. It's kind of my thing. I drag them along. Like, yeah. Anyway, uh, so the last two, I think it is, two or three vehicles we have left. We've got the, uh, the Halo 5 Banshee to redo. Um, although I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that. Because it is pretty... Yeah, no. Scrap the Halo 5 Banshee. Um, it's just basically the one from the uh, the other world, but retextured. So I'm I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I'm not gonna rebuild it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then the other thing is the uh, FTL drive, which I will get onto uh, ASAP. And then that's actually it for the Halo stuff uh, for this season. Uh, it will be about two more weeks before I actually upload something new. Um, but I may shorten that time if kind of I feel like I'm ready to start the next building season but what I want to do is kind of get everything on my list because I have actually narrowed down everything I want to do for the next season uh yeah so I want to get all those built before I start on the uh, on the next one 
uh, because something that happened this season was I put down a load of vehicles tutorial uh, and it got to the time where I was meant to do them and I just hadn't actually started on them yet. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, still dragging this along. Um, that's it for what uh, for the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon with the uh, with the with the uh, art not art drive uh, <laughs> FTL drive. It's not an art reactor. That's from a completely different franchise. Yeah, bye.